that door being unlocked? Hello, sugar. Who put all the prune whip on your pan? I feel a slight draft, Loretta, but go ahead. What's the idea of getting in that barrel? Mm, wait a minute. Don't tell me. Let me think. Uh, one at a time, please. Don't crowd. Step right up, folks. In the next tent, we have Lola Burns, the girl who actually thinks while thousands cheer. Hey, Lola. You get out of here with your cheap wise cracks. I wasn't in there in the first place. <laughs> you fool. <laughs> Come on, Lola. How about you and me ending this cat and dog fight, huh? Gee, I'd like to, Space. Give him a break, will you, Lola? He's not a bad guy for a publicity man. <laughs> That's just it. We used to have a lot of fun, but ever since I began to make a name for myself, he's been double-crossing me with his rotten publicity. He's not. I've seen to it that Lola Burns is a family slogan from Kokomo, Indiana to the Khyber Pass. Strong men, take one look at your picture, go home and kiss their wives for the first time in ten years. You're international tonic. You're a boon to repopulation and a world thinned out by war and famine. You're That's the one... That's all very funny. But how do you think I enjoy reading all that scandal that has an ounce of truth in it? I've told you, sugar. It isn't what you like to read. It's what the public likes to read. They see in these scarlet letter Lily of well, the Street I'm parts... Well, I'm tired of playing unladylike parts and of your undignified publicity. And I'm going to tell Mr. Gillette about it. Don't blame me. I'm only doing my job. Hey... How about you and me going to the Coconut Grove tonight? It's uh, collegiate night or something like that. I'll dig up a frat pin and we'll pretend we're 17 again. What do you say, huh? I'm sorry, but I'm going with somebody else. Oh. Well, gosh, Space, you don't ask me till the last minute. How was I to know? Why don't you tell him you got to work? Tell him you sprained your ankle. Tell him you got clee guys or something. I can't, Space. Oh, go ahead. I'll break a story in the afternoon edition just to prove it, huh? See, that's just typical. Another lie. Who are you going with? A friend of mine. Oh. That Marquis, huh? Yes, if you have to know. Oh, gee, Lola, what's the idea in running around with that rummage sale, Romeo? Did I insult Alice Cole when she had you making calves' eyes at her? Why don't you take her with you tonight? Alice Cole is now a respectable married woman, and she hates my inside. Yes, well, Hugo happens to be a charming gentleman. Just because a guy with an Ellis Island accent happens to have a dress suit with a hair ribbon across his chest, you dames get a pedigree and start reaching for the diamond tiara. What's the next line, Loretta? What are you going to do, write him off your income tax? Why don't you ask Georgia Mansfield or Thelma Joyce how much she mooched out of them? Excuse the noise, Loretta. We seem to be passing the stockyard. Oh. Listen, sugar. I know I'm no prize out of a Cracker Jack box. But at least I don't allow a procession of dames to lead me around by the nose. That's because somebody forgot to put a ring in it. <laughs> 